you're concentrating on and counting your dollars of that crop. Healthy choices, healthy life. Don't wish for it, work for it. Make it happen with weight loss goals that you can maintain and a team to guide you on your new path of being healthy. Metabolic Medical Center, it's your life, it's your body, it's your journey. Big event coming up? Let Renew restore your outer glow with a boost packed with vitamins and minerals. IV therapy replenishes the proper amount of nutrients back in your body almost instantly. Quench your body's thirst for wellness. When you think about farmers and the work they do, you may wonder, are they crazy? But farming is more than a job. It's a way of life. It's a labor of love that tugs at our being. Many of us, we're born to this calling with deeply planted rural roots. While others, well, they must be adventure seekers because, let's be honest, who would willingly trust their fate to Mother Nature? I don't look at it as um, a job or work. It's just our life. So we don't separate the time. And, it, and it's good and bad. It's hard on the family. Sometimes I got two little boys, but um, we're constantly working as a family. So when I left the farm, I went and worked for Michelin and um, had a chance at a very good living. And um, the whole time, all I was thinking about is coming back to the family farm. I use this place as a little research facility indirectly. I'm replicating Australia's climate to create a product that can't even grow here. That's the whole point. Greg is like, he's a pretty special uh, person because he will outsmart any situation. And if you tell him he can't grow something, he will um, take that as a challenge. And, and, and you know, three years ago, he's like, I want to grow finger limes. And there was like, can't grow finger limes in South Carolina. And then today you show up with a finger lime. And I know he's got a big grin on his face right now thinking I showed you guys and so a lot of what drives him you know it could be like the the uh, yeah like the I told you so this when you cut it open and squeeze it it comes out looking like caviar colored caviar so they have lime they can put right on top of the dish this is this these are the crops I grow for chefs this is just part of farming to me is trying to look at new innovations and what we can do well, my father-in-law has been farming here for the last probably 50 plus years. I got out of school and didn't didn't have a, a vision, didn't have a goal, didn't have a job per se lined up out of graduate school. I thought I did, but it didn't make a lot of money. So uh, he wrote me into working for him straight out of straight out of college, and um, which was good. And then I followed other other pursuits but it led me right back to the family farm i think so. that's what we truly enjoy is we all are together but we're constantly working so it's 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 if you did if you did look at what it what you're making per hour it would be pretty bad if if not some hours you're losing money say an average day is at least 18 hours but i mean it's it's um i don't look at the time i don't even remember what day it is because i'm just thinking about what i have to get done at my forefront. I mean, that's that's really what it comes down to for us is um, uh, you just, we, we don't think about when we're going to go on a family vacation or what holiday's coming next. It's just a matter of where we are in the season of, like right now it's planning season, so what we have to do to ensure that everything's planted correctly. We, we just, we, we can't get past some of that. Well, um, the figuring is the harvest and, and whatnot. The other difference that most people don't realize is even when we start harvesting, we're already done with that crop. And what I mean by that is the rewarding part that everybody assumes is what you're concentrating on and counting your dollars of that crop. You have to look past that in so much extent and you're already looking to what has to be planted behind it 
to ensure the ground is in best fertility and whatnot. So, but at the end of the day, um, you don't even look at the time. It's just what, what did I get done today and what I need to do tomorrow. I got myself, my sister-in-law, my brother-in-law, and uh, my wife, and then the neighbor lady that runs this place when it's in season. So what we do a little different is, and, and it goes in, so this is our local roadside market, not a farmer's market, but we, we try our best, not that everybody doesn't do this or does this, but we only try to sell what we grow. So it's a little different, so we're not open yet. Everybody assumes, you know, it's spring break time, you should be open. Well, the crops aren't coming in yet. So we truly only try to display from about May till Christmas what we grow. We, have, we supplement with a couple of friends that, you know, use our products and bring the products back. So that's what our focus is here at the roadside. Corn grows once a year, we harvest once a year, but we are processing it into grits and cornmeal year round. So when a lot of the farmers are out of season, they need a product when they're at the market to keep going. So I'm able to even help supplement some other people. And that's what's got me in with a lot of chefs and that's what's helped my family supplement our income on a different basis than a lot of farmers. That we have a product and other products that are actually year round. Thanks again for watching. We hope you enjoyed our first story and remember there are many more to come. And we want to share these stories with as many people as possible. Also, the farmers need your support, so buy local. We'll see you again soon.